Hi everyone, this is Space Toad, and this is the tutorial 103 on the Buildcraft Gate. Um, before I start this tutorial, I've seen people complaining again about the fact that this is getting too complex. Once again, to make sure that we understand, all of what I'm explaining here is optional. Buildcraft carries on working the way I, as it used to work before without the gates. This is just additional capabilities that you may or may not want to use for your automation systems. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into understanding how this parameter thing works. Uh, I'm going to change something this time. Uh, my tutorial were using transport pipes, so now I'm going to use waterproof pipes just for a change and I'm going to introduce gold and um, well, gold only and an or gates um, get some stuff with it uh, maybe an engine it's always interesting to uh, show examples with an engine and uh, I have, do I have water? yeah that should do it hopefully this will be shorter than the other tutorials. Uh, it should be quite easy. So anyway, I'm placing a couple of um, pipes here on the ground and I'm going to select one of these two gates. Let's start with the OR gates actually. It's usually the easier one to understand. Okay, so as for the iron gate, on the gold gate you just have to right click and that adds the gate uh, on the pipe and if you right click again we'll open this interface again very similar interface to the other ones if you um, accept this uh, line here, this column here and I'm going to explain what that is uh, in a little while just to uh, give an update on the R and the end logic uh, we saw in the previous video that uh, when there are two slots, the OR gates activate the, activate the signal as soon as there is one of the events that is activated for the gold OR gate, it is going to work exactly the same way. That is to say, the gate is going to be activated is one of the fourth um, expected events is activated. Um, here, well, I just have um, the pipe events, but here, for example, I'm just asking for one event, which is the pipe is empty, so that activates the redstone signal. If I had redstone, as you expect, uh, it displays the signal. Let's say here, I'm going to try an end gate, which will work pretty much the way you expect, actually. Let's add that to a wooden end gate. I'm going to add some um, tanks here. Okay, I need to adjust the input. That is a glitch. It should be adjusted automatically, but I'll fix that in the next version. Okay, now it's adjusted. Uh, let's say in this case I want four events, I want something in the pipe, I want something in the tank, and what else? Uh, let's just stick for that to that for now, and which means that if there are things in the tank, it won't be enough to activate that signal. Um, thing in the tank, sorry, but obviously. Uh, if I extract, start extracting things with an engine, uh, as you may expect, um, this works. And we'll. God, I'm so lost with too many items. As soon as I find the redstone torch or lever, yeah, lever will do the job. I will activate the trigger, the, the signal, as soon as both events are validated. And I could have four. If I had four, it will 
wait for the four triggers to be simultaneously active to send the redstone signal. I'm going to disconnect that thing actually. And yeah, maybe I want to just reset this thing here. Good. Okay, so that's the first capability of these additional gates, the fact that they have more slots. But they can do better than that. Um, I briefly mentioned this column here. As you can see on this event here, uh, which is the pipe is empty, and there is a black um, cross here or line here and this means that there is nothing else to say here. Now if I switch to liquid traversing what I'm saying normally without changing anything is that activate the signal as soon as liquid is traversing and indeed I'm going to put another of this thing over here just to simplify my setup, here we go. Uh, okay, the lever here. And indeed, if I activate and get the liquid, when liquid passes through the pipe, you can see that it's activated. And when I'm done sending liquid, it's going to deactivate. Now let's say I want something a bit more precise and I want to activate this thing only if water is traversing the pipe. I'm going to add a parameter. To add a parameter uh, I need to have an empty slot for it, which is the case here. And I'm going to grab an item and move the item all the way on top of the slot and if I click on it, it's going to copy the item over to the slot. So here I'm saying activate the redstone signal only if water is flowing through the gate. Now if I try this again, uh, you will see that this doesn't get activated because that's not water. Uh, if I add water and the gate, um, oops, oh yeah, doesn't work because there is already liquid. Um, my baguette is somewhat magic, it can extract, it, it can fill a tank completely but it doesn't allow to add liquid when there is already another liquid. Okay, now if I add water, uh, as you can see, this is going to activate the signal because that's what I was expecting. I was asking just for water. Um, there are various kinds of triggers that can be parameterized. This is a water trigger. As you may expect, we have the same kind of capability with um, chests and um, transport pipes. Uh, okay, let's look at this. And I need some stone pipes as well be good. So if I place one chest here, another one there, and then put, and I place one of this, um, let's stick to an OR gate here, and uh, see my lever, and place some item in the chest, uh, let's say, I don't know, some gold, iron, and stone. So, placing some stone, some 
iron, some gold. And so I'll say the trigger here is I want to trigger a signal as soon as there is something valuable traversing the pipe. So I'm going to say if there is a block of gold traversing the pipe or a block of iron traversing the pipe, then send a signal. And I'm activating the engine here. I'm starting with stone, which is uninteresting, so that does not trigger anything. And then when gold comes, it activates the signal. That's an interesting again, and now gold is coming and the signal is activated. And it's night again. I can't seem to have this video fit into one Minecraft day. Anyway. Is that night? Yes, it is. It's dark. Okay. Um, let's have a review of the other kind of events that you can have. Uh, going back to the liquid um, triggers here. Uh, remember, we have the ability to detect if a tank is empty. It is possible to detect if there is any liquid in the tank, and if you want to check for a specific liquid, um, you can specify it. So here, I'm activating the redstone if there is um, this uh, fuel liquid and that's working and actually the redstone is activated and started to trigger the engine here. Now I can change that and say I want to activate it if there is water which is wrong here so no activation. This um, other trigger asks if there is space for liquid. That is to say, either the tank is empty or the tank already has some of this liquid but is not full. As you can see here, there is only spy space for um, fuel. So, can I have my bucket? Okay, I've got space for fuel. If I add water, the answer is no, there is no space for water and thankful uh, it's just the same. You will have the same kind of capability with um, inventory um, checking is an inventory as a certain kind of item checking if there is space in the inventory and space for a certain kind of item and you will be able to check if the inventory is full there happens to be a bug in uh, Billcraft 3.0, I'm sorry for that. So these two events, item in inventory, as well as space in inventory, seems to be crashing uh, the game that will be fixed in the next um, 3.01 version of Billcraft. But I'm still mentioning this um, for the purpose of completion. And that's about it. Uh, we've just seen parameters and golden um, gates. Once again, there is even more to come, but you don't need it if you want to keep Billcraft uh, the way it used to work. Uh, obviously, there is going to be some additional development and some new parameters or triggers may happen, may appear, but for now, thanks a lot for having watched the video, I hope to talk to you for the next tutorial, bye bye.